this story is about a very poor father you have to listen to each and every word till the end you have to watch and see what your parents do for you such a lot of sacrifice that you never are able to imagine and for you it is either if they scold you or do not allow you what you want then they become bad people the other people's parents the other children's parents are better than you you say it so easily after seeing this after watching this video i hope you are all going to tell your parents that you are sorry for the number of times you have back answered them hurt them made them feel so bad and you are going to definitely tell them how much you love them hello everyone this is the story of a father who never wanted to tell his children what his job was he never wanted them to know because he felt that they would be ashamed of him when his youngest daughter asked him what he did he often told very hesitantly though that he was a laborer looking at this picture you must have guessed what his work was every day before he went home he had a bath he had to take that bath and he wore his clothes back so that his parents uh, his his parents his family his children no one could get a hint of what his job was he hid his reality because he wanted to send his daughters to school to educate them well so that they could stand in the society with dignity like everyone else just as your parents some of them when they have studied in the hindi medium they want they want their children to be educated in a good english medium school in the similar manner this father also thought that he never wanted anyone to look down upon his children as people did to him every day this thought brought tears into this father's eyes because people always humiliated him every penny that he had earned he invested for his daughter's education he never purchased for himself a new shirt because he used that money to buy books and other necessary articles for the daughters and he wanted them to study well with respect he was a cleaner the day before the last date of his daughter's college admission he could not manage to get her the admission fees that day for the first time he could not work he was sitting beside the rubbish trying hard to hide his tears all his co-workers were looking at him but no one went to him i had failed he felt and he was heartbroken at the thought he had no idea of how to face his daughter 
who would ask him about the admission fees. I was born poor and I believed that nothing good is going to happen to a person like me is what he thought always. After work, all the cleaners went to him, sat beside him and asked if he considered them as brothers. And before he could answer, they all handed to him their one day's income. He tried to refuse everyone, but they confronted by saying that they would all starve if it is needed, but they wanted their daughter to get the admission. He couldn't reply to them, but that day he did not take a shower and he went back to his house like a cleaner. After a few years, his daughter was to finish her university and the three of them, the three daughters, they did not let him go to work anymore. The elder daughter has a part-time job and the three of them take tuitions. But often she takes her father to his working place and feeds all his co-workers along with the father. All of them would laugh and ask why she wanted to feed them so often. So this man's daughter told them so she said that all of you had starved for my fee that day along with your family and that's the reason why today I am what I am. Saying this, she extended her hands towards them and she said, there's one more thing that I would like you all to give me. She said, pray for me that I can feed you all every day. Mm. This then made this father, the poor father, the richest man in the whole world. And do you know why? The reason is that now that you are not earning, so whenever it is your parents' birthday or their anniversary, you buy gifts for them from their money. You have not earned it. But that money is not what your parents want. That gift is not what your parents want. They too want to become rich. Rich with your love, your affection, your truthfulness, your loyalty, your dignity. When you rise and do well, when you are successful and you make them proud, when they are able to stand with their head held high in front of people with pride, not because of money, but because of what you give in return. That is what makes every parent feel rich because you cannot buy them anything. You cannot return them anything because right from the time you were born, right from the time the news of you that you're going to be born comes to them. Since then, they begin to start 
making your life happy, happier, happiest. And for that, from then on, in their own sweet manner, they begin to sacrifice. They are struggling in their lives, but they will never let you know. And their lives becomes most comfortable when you comfort them with your comforting words. When you welcome your parents in the evening when they return back from their work. When you ask them how their day was. When you consider to listen to their problems when they are wanting to share. When you give your time instead of all the time talking to your friends over the phone or chatting. Always remember children, life is today. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow is a question mark. It is not in our hand. Make the best of your today. Live your today as if there is no tomorrow. In short, live each day as God's greatest gift to you for your loved ones. Stay with them. Give them time. I do not mean that you haven't to talk to your friends, but that does not mean that after talking to your friends, whatever little time is left, you are going to talk to your family. No. You are first going to give time priority to your family people and then give time to your friends. Stay blessed. God bless you.